Hi everyone, welcome to your first virtual maths lesson. Today we are going to be continuing sequences of numbers, looking at the twos, fives and tens family. Um, if you got onto purple today, you'll be looking at the threes family as well. Um, and the second part of today will be knowing if a number will appear in a particular sequence. So knowing, for example, that 29 isn't going to appear in the tens family because it doesn't have a zero in the ones column. That might sound a little bit tricky now, but don't worry, Miss Vaughan's going to explain it. So you can see here that Miss Vaughan has started counting in tens. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and we can all do that. But the important thing to know when you're counting in tens is that in the ones column, you will always have a zero. That's how you know if a number is divisible by 10 or if it is in the tens family. But in year two, we do count in tens, but not starting from zero. So if you start from a random number, say seven, it will go seven, 17, 27, 37, 47. And the thing to know here is that the ones stay the same. So in the ones column, we have seven in all of those numbers. When we move on to counting in fives, there's also a pattern. We go zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And we, most of us can do that now. But the important thing to know here is that the ones column starts at zero, switches to a five, back to zero, back to five, back to zero, back to five. So when you count in fives, there is a pattern. And here you can see Miss Warren has been counting in twos. So zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And then you can see the next number here would be 26. Because when we count in twos, the ones column follows a pattern. If you know two, four, six, eight, ten, then you will know the rest of the numbers in the twos family. All of the numbers in the twos family are even, which means we can share them between two. And no matter how big the number may be, you just have to look at the ones column. So for example, a big number, like 1,375, we know that wouldn't be in the twos family because it has a five in the ones column and that isn't in our two, four, six, eight or a zero. However, 1,752 would be in the twos family because it has a two in the ones column. If you get onto green today, you will need to say whether a number will appear in that family. So for example here, if I count in twos, will I get to 77? Well, based on what Miss Vaughan has just taught you, 77 has a seven in the ones column, so it would not appear in the twos family because it is not a two, four, six, eight, or a zero. So if I was going to answer this question, I would say no, because it doesn't have a two, four, six, eight, or zero in the ones column. Or I could say no, because in the ones column, there is a seven. So that is pretty much it. You just work your way through the colors, finishing the sequences or answering the green reasoning questions. If you get onto purple, um, they are counting in threes and we don't have to be able to count in threes in year two, but if we can, that's great. That means we're working above what year two should be. So good job if you manage to do that. If you don't, don't worry. Top tip for parents here, we do need to be able to count in twos, fives and tens, forwards and backwards. Now, because we're only in autumn, we can use a number line or a hundred square to help us. But by the end of the year, we need to be able to count forwards and back without help from anything. So 
Good luck, everybody. And do email in if you have any questions at all.